Good evening. Welcome back. As usual, let's start you off with both the GO satellites. All the radar is running. There are a couple of tiny isolated showers out there. We've seen a few to the southwest of Delta and Montrose. A couple went through here giving us sprinkles. But we're really on the back edge of a cool front that moved through this morning. And while it did produce some storms, not a lot. Why we went 20 to 40 percent this morning. But I am tracking multiple cold fronts over the next seven days. No watches or warnings. They have allowed some of the red flag warnings in Utah to expire. And there's still a few in central Utah that are in play. And to the north, across the border out of Colorado. Colorado high wind warnings, and we almost wound up with one here. We've had gusts in western Colorado today as high as 55 and 60 miles an hour in some of the passes down here in the valleys. If you were out and about last night or this morning, you probably noticed gusts of about 25. Even now, winds west northwest at 13. We're at 83 degrees, partly cloudy skies. Humidity, not where I'd like to see it as usual. 21% doesn't get it done. While we only had sprinkles out of some of those that would have been better showers. Dew point down to 39, and we have the low pressure waves moving through with the cool front boundary. They're just not able to put it all quite together here in the valleys. Trees and grass almost non-existent. Weeds at a medium level. Mold shooting back up to a high level. We knew it would. We're in the low 80s in the valleys. Mid 70s for Montrose. Upper 60s to low 70s in the high country. Compare that to 24 hours ago. You were actually 7 degrees warmer in Montrose because you had a much stronger storm cool you off yesterday. We're a degree warmer. Same temp in Moab as it was 24 hours ago. As I mentioned, winds have been an issue. This is really due to something known as a tight pressure gradient. You can't go back and forth between cold fronts and their storm systems and high pressure behind them and then back and forth without creating stronger winds. Sustained winds right now dominantly out of the west northwest between 15 and 25. We have seen gusts in the valleys as high as 40, 60 mile an hour gusts in some of the passes. Last hour alone, gusts have come down a bit to the 25 to 30 mile an hour range. Moisture content coming in in the upper 30s to low 40s, so the environment can hold more moisture. But when we look at the surface humidities, it's just not doing that. 21 for us, 24 in Montrose, it's not translating that moisture down to the ground. And it would do that by obviously turning it into showers. When we go wide, little isolated showers move through. You can see that they're becoming more sparse at this point. That's because the leading edge of the cold front is here. The back edge of the cold front that does the sweeping has already begun to move in for us. Well, that's why most of us don't have a chance at a storm just east of Grand Junction. I'll hold the 20 percent till 9 p.m., but we are seeing it clear very quickly out to the west. So what about tomorrow? Well, if you watch from regular base, they talk about how these cold fronts act as broom, sweeping the deck clear. And that means no chance at storms tomorrow, but the next system and its cold front already knocking on the door. Now, I told you a moment ago I'd show you the wide fire. I want to show you, look at these winds that are out in the plains, out of the south from the Gulf. They are so intense now, we call a low level jet. It's pulling smoke from over Dallas and Oklahoma, and it's taking it all the way to Canada. So we're basically giving back the smoke they gave most of the U.S. about two months ago. We go to the water vapor satellite. Next storm system. Can you pick it out before I actually draw them on? Huge spinning upper level low off the edge of Seattle. That large dark streak in front of it is the stronger cold front. And guess what? That is headed this way. When we put our future casting computer into motion, it tries to kind of hold it off and dissolve it, but it's going to be there. And it's going to move in in about 24 to 36 hours. Storms will fire off of it. But let's go in, take a look at our exclusive HD model run together to give you an idea of what it's projecting. I'll go about 40%. I'd love to go 60 or 80. Doesn't look that promising. As we move through, no issues on your Wednesdays, a couple of tiny poppers. We get to Thursday, that's where we see the moisture build up ahead of the cool front. And when we get towards Friday or Thursday night into Friday, the cold front will sweep the deck clear. Again, and we go back to a few days of sunshine. You get the idea. Back and forth, back and forth. Tonight, 54, mostly clear and breezy, gusts up to 25, 20% chance till 9 p.m. for us, 40 to 60% chance for places like Aspen and Gunnison because you're further east, so it's going to take a little longer to sweep towards you. For tomorrow, we are looking at sunny skies, a high of 83, breezy conditions, gusts up to 30. We'll see winds at 5 to 15. No chance at a storm as the broom will already be in effect. Anywhere from the upper 70s to low 80s, upper 60s to low 70s in the high country. Grand Junction, you're looking at 83.78. For Montrose, 79.76. You notice that's going to be one of the hottest days of all. Now, coming up, what are we going to talk about in weather? Well, we're going to talk about the hurricane that's still off the coast, that next system we just talked about, and its cold front. We'll be right back.